Okay, I'm Thomas Email with the Louisiana Sea Grant Program, and I'll be demonstrating today a little bit about vacuum packing technology. The reason that we use vacuum pack bags, as we have here, is because they are really good in the freezer. The bag is actually a laminated layer of several different materials, including nylon, and there's all sorts of different bags out there on the market. But when you put a product in here and pull a vacuum on it, it really holds well in the freezer, it eliminates a lot of the freezer burn problems that we'll see in packs that are not vacuum bagged. This is really an awesome technology to do small scale production. You can hand pack with this, do it in a small processing plant. So we want to demonstrate how that's done today. Look, when you're looking at, at buying vacuum bags, they usually come in boxes of about a thousand. And here's what they look like. You'll always see a, you'll always see a little lip on each, on th three edges, and they're open on the top. And this top we're going to we're going to put in the vacuum pack me machine. It's going to pull a vacuum on it. It's going to seal it. And this is a vacuum pack machine. There's all sizes and shapes uh, of them. This machine has two heat bars so you can put products on both sides. And I'm going to show you in a minute how that works. So we can take this bag and we can get pre-printed bags that have our labels on the front and on the back. Or you can get uh, stick on labels uh, if you're just trying out a new product and you want to get things started. We're going to do a shrimp pack here. This is the front, the front label. Really pretty well designed, tells you what's in the bag. And we're going to go ahead and adhere it to the bag. The front makes it really, really pretty like that. Okay, it's a little crooked, but you know what I'm getting at. And then on the back, we're going to put the, the UPC code hook. That's when it's in a grocery store, and they can price it and read it through the scanner. We have the nutrition label that tells all the information required by law, and any ingredients that are added to the product during processing or in, in the life you know, as the product comes from the boat to the processing plant. And so we'll put that on the back, and we'll end up with a beautiful pack just like this. Label on the front, label on the back, with enough room to see the product. This is an example of what it's going to look like. This is a shrimp pack uh, that we've done. Just vacuum pack this, and so then I'll put it into the ice flush to get it cold and ready, prepped for freezing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pack that bag that I just showed you. We're going to take our shrimp, and we're going to put the product in the bag. This is pre-measured for a pound which is the amount uh, of content that the, that the bag shows we have. So it could be one pound, two pound, or whatever, whatever our label shows. And then we'll spread it out a little bit, like this, kind of evenly through the bag. And we're going to lay this lip over the heat bar, and let's vacuum it now. So we're going to lay it in here, we're going to put that right over the edge, and make sure it's flat so that when it pulls the vacuum, and then at, right after it puts that uh, heat seal on it, it does it properly. So I'm going to go through the cycle right now. It takes uh, just a, maybe uh, less than a minute to go through a cycle. Now, I have room here where I could put a bag here, a bag over here, a bag over here, and I could be doing four bags at once. There are machines that can do a dozen bags on one side and a dozen bags on the other side. So you can see what I mean? You can scale up. So you hear the vacuum machine running. It's pulling that vacuum. And we have a, a meter on the front that's showing and pulling the vacuum. And you can adjust that so it, it'll pull the vacuum, a short vacuum, a long vacuum, whatever you need to get the product just like you want it. And you can set the length of the heat seal. So now it's going through the heat seal. It pulled the vacuum. And we spread the product out in the bag so that when we freeze it, it's going to really look nice and uniform and fill the bag up. And then there we go beautiful vacuum pack product. It'll go in the freezer and keep really well for a while, quite a while. This is the best technology for doing small scale packaging and freezing. And then of course we always put it in an ice flush so that it will pre-chill down to almost 32 degrees so when it goes into the freezer it's ready, it, it's going to freeze rapidly. Because the quicker you freeze it the higher quality it will be. Rapid freeze is very important. We can also freeze other products. Here's an example of soft shell crabs that do very well. And also some frame-in catfish. It looks really nice in a bag like that. 
and also fillets of catfish. You can just use your imagination. Whatever you want to produce can go well in a bag. And black drum right here. The bag is a, just a great barrier for protecting from dehydration and from uh, oxygen going through the bag and causing rancidity. So it's really the best technology that we have. For more information on this, vacuum pack technology, contact your Sea Grant agent.